Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be trying out a couple of new products. Now these are not brand new on the market. One of them is kind of new on the market. This one was sent to me by um, Influencer. It's the Say Goodbye to Grey Roots in Seconds by L'Oreal and it's the Magic Root Cover Up. Now this has been around for a while because I've seen commercials um, on TV, I've seen ads. I've never tried it. This is like a spray. Uh, which I normally use powder. I use I usually use just a brush and powder where my roots are, which my roots, yeah, my gray is, which is mainly over here. I try not to color my hair that often. I try to put as little chemicals as possible on, in my hair because my hair has thinned out so much. So I really don't want to add any bad products to my hair if I can avoid it. And I have to make a commercial, a commercial. No, it's not a commercial, it's a video about some information that I found about some products that I thought were amazing and then when I looked into it, really in the long run, it's not so good for your hair. And something that is a lot less expensive has actually made my hair look healthier, shinier, and has better ingredients. So that will be on another video. So anyway, on this one, let me get my glasses so I can read the instructions because mm, look at this. Uh, yeah no okay so after reading the instructions i think i've decided to do the lashes first because the other one sounds like it could be amazing but it could be an epic fail because it says to cover your shoulders with a towel which translates to me as messy so this is a kiss magnetic eyeliner double strength magnets in five points eyelashes so I saw Emily Noel do it. Now she is an expert at eyelashes. She wears them all the time. She's been wearing them the whole time I've been watching her show. So she thought these were the best magnetic lashes that they have out there. Um, I want to give it a try. I have never worn except for my daughter's wedding and my son's. My daughter's wedding, I used um, just the single ones. You know, the ones that bring like a few lashes at a time. And someone applied them for me my son's wedding I used a full set of lashes by the end of the night they were coming apart I had to take them off my lashes looked terrible because they hardly had any mascara so my experience with false lashes have not been a good one you guys see it on my channel I never wear them I just like to wear primer and mascara but I want to give this one a try first of all the lashes these look very very natural they're not super long they're not super bushy I don't know if they're the right length. I haven't tried them at all. So I would imagine they go like this, right? Looks that way. So how do they go like this? this? Let me read the instructions. Is there a right and a left? Like I said, I've never done this before. All right, so it says that the first thing that you have to do is you have to use the, shake it, the eyeliner. I don't hear the little ball anymore, so I assume that's all I have to do. You have to apply. Oh, geez. Uh, I don't think you apply it that thick. Look at the mess I already made. <gasps> okay, um, it's kind of burning my eye a little bit. No, not, not anymore. I think I just got it too close to my eyeball. All right, so do I only eat, need one, which I went over like quite a few times. It's going to be a long video, even though it's not supposed to be. Line with Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner along the lash line. and wait until formula is dry. Lash right onto the applied eyeliner. Okay, so that's cool. I don't have to do a lot of sweat or anything, so let's do the other one. Oh, geez, look at this. I had an eyeliner on my hand and I got it on my face. Yes. Professional YouTube creator here for you. Uh-huh. Okay. So now, Emily's trick was, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and tell you what her trick was, okay? What she suggested was, 
to apply a little bit at the beginning and a little bit at the end extra which is the areas where your lashes will most likely um, come you know come apart or fall off or whatever and a little bit at the end all right so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back I my liner is dry now so we are going to try this now I don't even know how I feel about magnetic line uh, lashes I don't even know if these are gonna to be too long for me but we'll try Okay, they did go on right away. Um, they're long. I mean, they didn't look that long in the wow compared to my lashes. Yeah, they're super long. But I think they're pretty and they don't look like way crazy on me. That was easy. I mean, that really, the magnets, I think because it has five magnets, it went on like as soon as I touched it to my lid. It went on I think this is a lot easier than the ones that you just have to make sure that you get it to and I can't I can't see that well with this eye oh I'm you're not even I'm not even letting you watch see this one I can do as well because I can't see as well when I close this eye hold on my contacts are for uh, distance now these, I think I would have to trim them a little bit because when I open my eye, I can actually touch the top of my eye and I don't like that. Why is this one not sticking like the other one? I think these actually merge with my even though i had a harder time they merge with my lashes better do i have these too high hold on where well, they come off really easy too let's try this again try not to cover you try to get them as close oops close to your lash line as possible Okay, they're on. I feel them on my eyes, you know, and if I open my eye, I definitely feel it on the inside. So what do you guys think? They went out very easy. I must say that. They stuck on my eye really, really quick. So for you g girls, ladies that wear these lashes often, what do you think? Did they look okay? I mean, I like the fact that they're not super bushy or, you know, thick. So they look more natural on my brows, on my brows, on my lash line. Um... It was easy to put on. I'm not gonna wear them all day, but look, let's take them off. Oops. Okay. Okay, they're easy to remove. And there's two little magnets in here for you to put them back. They don't pull on your lashes, so that's very nice. And you put them right back. So um, I don't know how hard the liner is to remove. I will let you know if that's hard to take off at the end of the day. Right now I'm going to leave it because I'm actually I'm going to find another black liner and kind of go over and fix it up a little bit for my next um, video. Okay, so now let's do the hair. This could be interesting. Okay, so here's a towel. And this almost makes it sound like it's more when after reading the instructions. This is a medium. This is supposed to be good for 
combination dark to deepest browns which is pretty much me but it almost makes it sound more like it's, it says to hold it six inches away like for the um and i don't really have like a lot of gray here my problem is here now i'm gonna cover it's stinky all right so i have my mirror so i can see and i'm just gonna see if i can do this without i can just imagine me ending up with black ears oh my god this is like spray painting ah um i don't know guys it feels very cold i did shake it it feels very cold when you put it on but it's not really covering my i think that if most of your grays are in your <laughs> in your you know like this would be great to just you know what I mean? Which I may use it for that to go like in between my hair to cover some of the gray in there. But I think I prefer the powder. I can be, it will be a little less messy, a little less scary. And I see, I can't, I can't go close enough that I don't feel it's going to go in my face. I just don't think I can go on my crown now like on this area yeah that's easy because it's I can go more without being that careful like, like if I want to cover like in between my hair this is perfect but I think for the crown around my face I prefer the powder because I have more control I'm able to really cover it up all the way, you know, without it being afraid of it going in my face. I think this is great for if you have the grays on your part, if you have grays in between. Even for me that my hair is thinned out, I think I can actually like spray it in between and it's going to give me, you know, kind of cover my scalp so it doesn't look as, you know, you won't be able to see the bald spots or it's not i don't really have like bald spot a whole bald spot but i mean where my hair is thinner so i think this will really help me for that and i like that now as far as covering over here on the side i don't like it for the side i think this is hard to do on the side um i think the spray just comes out and i guess it needs to if it goes if it comes out slower then there's a bigger chance of you getting it where it doesn't go but I just think that I can do it close enough to my face without getting it on my skin. So I like it for anywhere else except the crown of my, you know, my face or my hair or whatever. I think this area, I did cover it up a little bit, but I think this area would definitely work better with a powder and a brush but i love it for doing it like on the top to kind of like i mean you can tell it kind of thickened up my hair a little bit now i don't know how long this lasts you know if uh if it will come off on my pillow tonight i will let you know also if it comes off on the pillow but i like it i mean for that i like it i don't know how messy and i didn't get it on the on the uh on the towel i think they're just doing that as a precaution so that you don't end up with product all over your clothes which is nice but normally i wouldn't do this unless you know pajamas or something like that i don't i usually do this before i do my makeup in case even the powder so that in case i mess up i can fix it before i put my foundation on it just makes more sense to me so anyway this is it for this video i think it's a plus i like it I will repurchase it once i get through this one i think it's really nice and it kind of smelled a little bit when i first started but then i didn't smell it anymore so i don't know if it was just the first spray but i really don't smell it it feels kind of cold when you put it on your on your head um it doesn't feel wet it's almost like i would say probably feels like a dry shampoo like when you put on a dry shampoo on your hair similar you know the the 
kind of like the cold the lashes i light. I have to play with them a little more and once i do i got a couple of other um a little different than these i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim the end part so that when i open my eyes i don't touch my top lid i don't like doing that so um i think i'm going to do that trim just the very inside of it so that it doesn't but i think it was the right length and everything so let me know what you think okay guys i love you and i will see you on my next video bye Mwah.